Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going on holiday, we're sat in the petrol station at the moment, I'm sure everyone's going to look at me, Jason's just doing the tyres of the car, um, but we are going on holiday today, so I am going to vlog that, so this will be a holiday vlog, so stay tuned for that. So we have just finished lunch, which I've, I've just insert the clip what of that. What is going on? <laughs> we had pepperoni pizza and chips, it was nice wasn't it? Are you going to talk? Yes. <laughs> Not really sure what we're going to do now because we can't check into our accommodations, don't be annoying, um, until five and it is currently half past three. So I'm not sure what we're going to do, but we'll definitely show you when we do Anything. do something. <laughs> and we will show you the accommodation when we get there. Jason's going to do a little tour for you. Come on up. <laughs> Only Matt and Chloe are going to get that reference and your parents. So before we take all our stuff in and make everything a mess, I thought I would show you a little tour. So, you walk in this door here, you've got the car, okay, car space just over here. You've got a hot tub here, and then over here, you've got a little table set. Oh, hopefully you heard me outside because it was a bit windy. You walk in the front door here, which I just showed you. And you come into like the living kitchen area. It's like a proper little house. Um, got table, ignore the stuff that's on the table. Um, TV, sofa, chair, and then nice kitchen. It's even got a proper hob and cooker. Um, so yeah, this is the kitchen, fridge, freezer. Quite self-explanatory. Moving on through. So this is actually a two bedroom one, although obviously there's only just me and Jason here. So we've got the two beds in here. So if Jason annoys me, this is where he'll be getting me. Mirror, hello, you can see my outfit of the day. I have just got a black top on and my flowery trousers. They're like legging kind of things. I'm really old from, I think they're Boohoo. They're like five years old though. Um, and then fake converse, but yeah, I'm looking a bit dishevelled after it took us about three hours to get here and then yeah we went for some lunch etc etc so that is this room we come out of here but Jason has pointed out a good thing you can't open the door from in here so you can open it like this but if you're in there assuming you get stuck got a little air and cupboard with a broom and a Era. This is our bedroom. So a nice big bed, towels on the bed. Again, we've got nice mirror, so I expect you'll see some outfit pics. Please excuse my hair, it's so windy outside. Just excuse that. Bathroom, towel rail. Big, quite nice big shower actually. Don't know if you can see that. I should probably help if I open the door. Just toilet and sink. That is about it. I was just saying to Jason that I think our lodge is actually the only one on the site, or this type of lodge, that doesn't have a bath, which is a bit but gutting because we both like a bath. Um, but yeah, we've got the hot tub, although we can't use that till tomorrow. But hey, hey. So that is the little tour of the lodge. Not sure we're going to obviously get everything out, unpack whatever, and then not sure what we're going to do later. I might pop into Eastbourne, which is now where we are for the evening, but I'll update you then. Um, also, just quickly, have we come for four nights or four months? This is the other stuff. Obviously, bought my dressing gown. Can't go anywhere without my dressing gown. So, I've just got changed. got my socks in my hand to put back on, but I've got changed for the evening. Not that we're, I don't think, we're not really sure what we're doing. We're going into Eastbourne, like I said earlier. Um, I don't know why I look so tense. <laughs> uh, we're going into Eastbourne like we said earlier and hopefully going to get some food there. So I've got this dress on. Uh, this is Primark last year I believe. It's just like a, I don't know how to describe the texture, can you kind of see that? Um, so yeah, this is the dress, it's just got some buttons down the side and I'm going to really make it casual. Really can make it casual? Make it really casual by 
putting on my Converse with it and then I've got my denim jacket in the car to wear with it. Spot the fruit gums in the back. So I just thought I would show you what it looks like with my trainers. Although I've got annoying socks on where one, you can't see that, one's higher than the other but oh well. And then I've just put my denim jacket over the top. It's still quite warm so I don't know if I'll need this or not. So we've just finished our dinner. Now on the beach. I'm trying to get Jason to take some nice photos of me. So if he did, you'll have seen them on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, description, description. My handle is in the description. Quite um, blowy on this clip. So hopefully you can hear me. We're just going to have a walk along the beach, and then we're going to head back. It's quite chilly now. It is what time is it? Nine o'clock. Yeah. Fun fact: This is a pebble beach. I'll show you it. I don't actually like sand, so. This is my kind of beach. Or a thumbs up from me. Good morning. Uh, it is the next day now. We are off into Brighton today. So excited for that because Brighton is my favourite place ever. If you didn't know that already. Um, so just thought I'd quickly show you an outfit of the day. So I have just got this dress. On. It's like a midi kind of dress I really like this and then I'm just gonna put my converse on and then I've got a little backpack so I will probably vlog a few bits in Brighton's dress I didn't tell you where this is from this is from New Look but it's literally I think I've had this for like five years it's generation 915 although I don't think it's called generation 915 I think it's just called 915 So apologies, it's very windy and this is an unflattering angle. But we have had a nice walk along the pier. We are now sat on the beach with some chips. Let me show you. We've got some Harry Ramson's chips and this is the beach. Here's the pier. So we're gonna tuck into our chips now. We have um, decided to walk to the marina. Jason? Hello. <laughs> um, Jason decided this would be a great idea. Didn't realize how far it was. From where we were, we were by the pier. It's a nice walk, it's not sunny, but it's not cold, so it's quite a nice walk. I'm gonna get some dinner and then so I'll show you our dinner when we get there. So we are back now and I have had a change of attire. We have got a hot tub which I showed you yesterday. I'll show you. That side you can hear my little uh, flip flops. So we're going to go in that. We couldn't go in it. I think I said this. Have I said this? Apologies if I have. Um, we couldn't go in it yesterday. So we are making the most out of it today and we're going to go in. So I've just got my swimming costume on. Just another thing before we get in the hot tub. Um, I was going to show you my, let me stand by the door so you can see it properly. I was going to show you my makeup. Okay. So this has been on since, what time did I do my makeup? We got up quite a lazy morning this morning. So I think I did it at about 12-ish, I think. I mean, I'm all a bit frazzled, like my eyebrows are everywhere, my eyelashes are everywhere, but we don't worry about that. But my face makeup, I think I did this, yeah, about... 12? No, before that. I don't know. About 11-ish, maybe? Half 11? And it is now 5 to 8. And it's lasted really well. Let me... Hopefully it's going to come into focus. But yeah, it's lasted really well. Um, I did... I get oily skin, as I mentioned in all my videos about my skin. Um, so I did blot it earlier with a bit of like tissue just while we were out to kind of take the excess oils away. But I'm really happy with it and I think it's, the reason I'm telling you this is because I think the reason is I used the Body Shop setting spray um, this morning and yesterday when I did my makeup I didn't use that and my makeup went a bit, not funny but like it needed touching up and then when I touched it up it didn't really look quite right um, and that's because, I think that's because I didn't use the makeup setting spray so I definitely recommend that, I did mention it in my previous video when I did the body shop haul and try on but yeah I used that this morning and I think that's really helped because it still looks really nice um, 
if I run you through what I've got on my face, nothing particularly that I haven't mentioned before. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, then I've got the Airbrush Flawless Foundation, the Stay Matte Powder, I've got a bit of a mix between the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder and the Body Shop Coconut Bronze Powder. Um, I actually hit pan today on my Kevin Aquan pan pa Panda? powder so that made me quite sad and we went into TK Maxx in Brighton earlier and they didn't have any and it's all sealed at the moment so you can't really see what they've got but yeah um, what else have I got on? oh uh, the MAC oh, I don't know what it's called it's the highlighter it's not soft and gentle although that is my fave it's not that one I can't think what it's called um, I'll leave it in the description box description box? description box down below anyway but yeah, that's what I've got on. And then I did have Pillow Talk. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Original uh, lipstick on throughout the day, but obviously that has come off now after we ate. Good morning. It is Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, I need to get this foundation off my lips. Don't do that when I was getting ready. Um, it is Wednesday today. We are going to go into Lewis. Oh, this light is nice. I'll take some photos here. Um, I'm going to have to get... I'm gonna have to go. We are going to go into Lewis today for a wonder. I've heard good things about it, so we're gonna go there. We're gonna have a nice child's lunch before we go that consists of sausage rolls, savoury eggs, and crisps and a mini roll. Um, so I'll show you that when we do that. But I'm gonna show you my outfit. Excuse all Jason's mess in the background. But today's outfit, we've just got our white cami top on. This is Primark, and then these. Uh, are they green like mint green kind of trousers uh, spotty trousers which are also from Primark there is a matching blazer that goes with this but I didn't bring that with me just because I wanted to kind of casualist casualize this a bit down Cas make it a bit more casual that's what I'm trying to say so I'm gonna wear my white converse with these and I have got a like a white creamy cardigan that I will put over the top of this because it's not well, it is warm, but it, I got a bit cold yesterday. Here's Jason in my hat, modelling no, it. You can't put this in there. I was just trying on the, the hat backwards to see. Let what us know in the comments if you think he suits it. You look like um. I always forget his name. I want to call him Dan. He's not called Dan, is he? He's called Will. In you. Oh. I was on call him. the stalker. So our very nutritious lunch, which is not nutritious in the slightest, so don't judge. Um, we have got, right, this is Jason's plate, so we've got some sausage rolls, some little savoury eggs, chocolate mini roll, milky bar mousse, and some hula hoop puffed beef flavour. And then mine, pretty much the same, it's just I've got salt and vinegar twists, and I will have that probably with some squash. We're going to try and eat as much as we can of the food we bought so that we don't have to take it home, especially obviously the fridge stuff. So this will probably be in tomorrow's clip as well as our lunch. Um, so we're on our way to Lewis now, so I will vlog some bits when we get there. So we're in Lewis now and we try to come to the castle, but it's closed at the moment, so we can't. I think we'll just have to have a wander around, but here is the castle. Hopefully we'll come back one day and be able to go and have a wander. Currently making our way down one of the probably steepest hills that I've seen. And we thought Bradford and Avon was bad for steep hills, but this is steep, which you would have just seen in my previous clip as I showed you up. The thing, we are walking now to Anne of Cleves house. Hopefully it does say online it's open. Hopefully it is because we tried to go to the castle which I've already told you but it was closed. Um, sorry I'm trying to focus on walking at the same time. Um, so yeah hopefully that's open and we can get some nice footage there. We've just walked here and it's closed unfortunately but this is it I think. I'm not going over by a car which is a shame that it's closed but obviously understand why it's closed so after that bit of a fail now on to the next thing we are walking down to the priory 
Is that what you say it's called? I think it's Remains or something. Um, I'm quite disappointed we couldn't go in the Anna Cleves place because I really like um, learning about all that kind of history, especially Henry VIII. It always reminds me of my stepdad. He doesn't watch my videos, I don't think, but oh, we're going under a tunnel. Um, yeah, it always reminds me of my stepdad because we used to spend ages when I was little going through um, books about Henry VIII and all his wives and we used to watch things together. So yeah, I was excited to go in there and have a look. Well, obviously it's not open. Like I said, I understand why it's not open. Just a bit of a shame. So I'm gonna go and look at these remains down there. Here we are. It's wonderful residence that's not in focus. Hi, David Atmore. That was my inspiration, yeah. This is the remains. I did just video the uh, video. It's not called a video. Oh, it is a video, I suppose. Um, the information about where we are. Hopefully you can hear me. It's a bit noisy behind me, so. Um, there's a little information sheet. So this is what it looks like. Very pretty. Just kind of something to see, really. There you go. So this is the information sheet. So what we're looking at here. If I zoom back out. This is the remains the remains of the monk's dormitory. It's quite cool to see remains. We went to Greece last year and we did a, like a historical tour there, didn't we? We found that really interesting. We saw lots of remains and stuff there. I do look like a really happy tourist because I've got my little rucksack on and obviously I'm vlogging. But I'm sure that not everybody knows what vlogging is. Maybe I should go around and like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That'd be a good promotion, wouldn't it? But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's very pretty. This is another bit. <laughs> We're not very good with our history. This is the Battle of Lewis. So it was four on the 14th of May 1264. Oh, there's a dog and there's a child. I'm not going to fog the child. But this is what we're looking at. And there's some children behind us, so ignore that. But it's all very interesting. Jason was just saying how weird it is to think, like, what happened here, weren't you? Yes. So we are back from Lewis now. We are just chilling, having a little snack. I'm going to have some mini gingerbread man. And I have got, hold on, a cup of tea in a very big mug. Oh, it doesn't say it on that side. Hold on says smile on it my lovely work friends holly and lucy got me that and i know they both watch my vlog so thanks guys um so i've got a big cup of tea in that uh just gonna chill for a little minute and then gonna get in the hot tub i think aren't we i've already been in the hot i don't know if i've told you this already but i've already been in the hot tub today i went in this morning just for 10 minutes or so so i'm gonna do that we popped tesco's before we came back here grab some bits for dinner so we're not going to go out for dinner tonight because you know quite spendy so we're going to have well I don't know are we having the pizza or are we having the pasta not sure we got pizza and we got some ready meal pastas as well so I will show you that later on so we are recording dinner now excuse me <laughs> um so I thought did I just say we're recording dinner now yep <laughs> We are making dinner now, is what I am trying to say. I needed a nap, I didn't have a nap. I haven't been in the hot tub yet, I'm gonna go in after dinner. It is, what time is it? Six. Six. Um, so we have decided to go for pizza. I have got the Pizza Express sloppy, how do you say this, Jay? Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Um, so it's spicy beef and green pepper pizza. I love this pizza. I went for a stage. It's when we lived in the flat, wasn't it? And I was obsessed with this pizza, so very excited to have this. These were on offer, that's why it looks like we're having a Pizza Express evening. So I've got that. And then Jason's got Classic American, which is just pepperoni pizza. And then we've got some dough balls to go with it. Because can you go to Pizza Express and not have dough balls? I don't think so. Let's just stand you here and have a chat a minute. Can you see me? I don't think you can. His nail didn't, there we go. 
Pizza Express is actually somewhere I always go with one of my very best friends, Kelly. I'm sure I've mentioned her before. If I haven't, then one of my best friends, Kelly, um, we always go to Pizza Express since I think I've been friends with Kelly for uh, what year are we in? 2020, so seven years this year. Blimey, Kelly. I know you watch these, so blimey that we've been friends that long. Um, but we would always go to Pizza Express because there is one in her hometown. So we always go there. So every time I have Pizza Express, I always think of her. And we always have dough balls. Always, always, always. So, yeah. Hopefully we can go back there soon. I don't think Pizza Express is open yet. Because we went into, when we were in Lewis earlier, it wasn't open. And I'm sure when we saw, when we were at the Marina yesterday in Brighton, it wasn't open either. So hopefully we can go back there soon and have our Pizza Express date. Hey, hi, friends. So dinner is served. Ignore Big Bang Theory on in the background. Here is my pizza with my dollop of mayo, tango, dough pyramid, garlic butter dip and Jason's pepperoni pizza. Hi everybody, so it's Thursday. I look considerably awful today. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've got no makeup on, because I don't think we're going anywhere today. I'm not sure yet, we might just chill here. But I just needed to vlog this moment. Jason's just given me my lunch and there were 11 sausage rolls left. So I said for him to have six and me to have five. He has eaten half the sausage roll. <laughs> And giving me the rest. <laughs> it's only fair. <laughs> Thanks. So we have decided to come out. We have come to, I don't know what it's called. I can't remember what it's, White Cliffs is it? Like beach, something, beachy, beachy head, I think it's called. And it's a walk um, along the White Cliffs. I said to Jason as we were driving out, let me show you. Can you see this here? I said it feels like something that um, would be in like a, TV murder drama thing and someone gets pushed off the cliff. I just thought that as we were driving along that's kind of what it reminds me of. So we are going to have a wonder. What's it called? What? Where we are. White Cliffs. It's similar. That, that, the ones over there are called like Seven Sisters. It's yeah they're all called head. something. Yeah, be okay. um, so we're going to have a wander along there. It looks very picturesque hmm. my dear. Um, I have got my Will From You hat on, I don't know if I'm going to keep it on, but it will protect my scalp and Jason informed me the other day that I have a burnt scalp, so that's fun. So we'll see you when we start walking, okay bye! Chats with Jason about how he doesn't want to go close to the edge. Because as you would have just seen, it's quite scary actually, isn't it? The water looks nice. The water does look really nice. It looks really blue. It's such a nice day. Like, it's, the sun's come out today as well. So it's, I'm glad you chose to do this today, Mr. Jason. But yeah, it's quite scary, like, looking over the edge. But it is very picturesque. We've just taken some nice pics together there. Although Jason told me he was getting vertigo from standing there, but... Jason's gonna have a heart attack me stood up here. But yeah, it's so pretty. You can see the fear in his face. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty though. Do you reckon you can actually get down there? Do you not? Hmm. 
but yeah um we, when we were googling it it said it was like an hour and a half walk one way to our class look it's quite a long walk so it was an hour and a half walk but we think that's the whole thing because this is like into different bits it's like seven sisters jason's got my hat on now and she could have probably noticed that i've taken it off i took it off for the picture and then i couldn't bother to put it back on so yeah this is what it looks like very picturesque very pretty and this just shows how unfit katie is i think we're about to tackle this hill wish us luck We're walking up the hill and this just proves how unfit I am. I'm out of breath, background's nice, and I'm at 180 beats per minute. Oh, I am unfit. What are you at? 138. 138? Yeah. <sighs> we're having a little break. Katie got a bit tired after that. So we're having a little break. I don't know if we're going to carry on walking up. It seems to go on for miles, so not sure. This is this way. So Jason with my hat on. So yeah, kind of a very similar view, but it's just very pretty. Quite a few people up here as well. Dinner is served this evening. We have a very nutritious meal here, which is, what is it? Pepperoni pasta bake, ready meal from Tesco's. Never buy ready meals, really. We never have them, really, do we? Jason's got a chicken tikka masala with pilau rice. As you may have told, be able to tell, it's now Friday, Friday, and we are back in Brighton. We went to the breakfast club this morning, so I'll insert footage of that. just had that and now I'm very full, couldn't eat it all. And we are now on the pier. This is the beach. Just on the pier at the moment, just having a wander. We are going up the British Airways i360 in about an hour, or an hour and a half. So I'm looking forward to that because I've never been up it. So we've just been into Boho Gelato, here's Jason. I have got strawberry daiquiri, and what was the other one? Tropical sorbet, I love a sorbet. That's my mum's fault apparently, because she uh, craved it when she was pregnant with me. And then we've both got a San Pellegrino orange. Jason has got vanilla and espresso, is that nice? Yeah, good. Top marks from Jason. So we are leaving Brighton now, and we are heading home. We are meeting one of um, our friends for dinner, um, halfway. She lives Hampshire sort of way. Hampshire? Yeah. Portsmouth? Anyway, um, so we're meeting her for dinner. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and also follow me on Instagram. My handle is in the description and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.